Okay, uh... Next video. This is by... Uh, Sunny V2. Pizza Hut hasn't been doing so well. Let's see what's been happening with Pizza Hut. I haven't actually had Pizza Hut in years. And I mean years. Like, usually these days, I'd be eating... Like, uh, either Domino's or, on occasion, Papa John's. It's usually my go-to pizza stuff. Because their pizza sucks. <laughs> yeah, I have... Last time I ate at a Pizza Hut was... Oh, my God. It's so long ago, I can't even remember. Like, we all... Me and my family used to eat at a Pizza Hut, like, all the time. That was, like, our go-to place. Well, if we weren't eating at our go-to Chinese place where we were eating at Pizza Hut. <laughs> but yeah, let's see what this is about. Pizza Hut hasn't been doing so well. Let's find out. Failed franchises, bankruptcies, and almost no growth in revenue for the last 10 years. This is the sad reality for Pizza Hut, who have had so many store closures that there's now a subreddit dedicated to finding former Pizza Hut restaurants. Wow, it's to that bad? Why Pizza Hut has lost almost half of its market share over the last 20 years. We have to begin by asking the following question. Why was Pizza Hut so unique and successful in the first place? Back in the 1990s, Parents Pizza Hut had a pizza. reputation for yeah. having some of the craziest and most unique and successful pizza designs, which were not only delicious, but also gave the public a reason to talk about the business. For example, in 1993, Pizza Hut released the Bigfoot, yeah, I liked a massive the pizza two we went to, but we didn't always pizza creation, with the Bigfoot accounting for 18% of total sales. There was also the cheeseburger crust pizza, the like it kind of depended pizza, on who was in the kitchen at the time. Pizza. Sometimes it was However, good, none sometimes of these it wasn't. Successful as the now famous stuffed crust pizza, which achieved sales of one billion in the first year. Boosting oh, yeah, that stuff price by that stuff crust. Of course, Everybody this strategy led to the crust. occasional flop, such as their controversial lasagna pizza. Lasagna pizza! Oh my god! The worst thing I've ever eaten <laughs> in my life, genuinely. But for the most part, these experiments seemed to help Pizza Hut stand out from the crowd, especially when they were served in their distinct dine-in restaurants. These restaurants added a social element to pizza, turning it into an event as opposed to just another meal. The early memories that we all have of going to dine-in at our local Pizza Hut are infinitely more memorable than the hundreds of times we've ordered takeaway from Domino's. During the dine-in days, Pizza Hut had something that physically separated them from the competition. Nobody could offer an experience quite like Pizza Hut, providing them with unbelievable levels of success. I can't remember if I ever had the, the early from Pizza Hut. Days. Pizza Hut had the monopoly on pizza and you paid through the nose for one. At first, they had to educate the dining public with little signs saying, pizza is traditionally eaten with the fingers. <laughs> for the first few years, I remember that there was no takeaway, dine-in only. I remember that a family size pizza cost around $20. Nowadays, that would equate to probably $50 or more for a pizza. People paid it because they were experiencing this delicious food for the first time. The Pizza Hut dining experience was seemingly profitable in the beginning, but this didn't mean that it was going to be <coughs> successful forever. Some insane anecdotes <coughs> claim that a new source destroyed Pizza Hut dining completely, or that dining was destroyed by their staff choices. However, the main issue seemed to come from other competing pizza brands who were specializing in delivery. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Little There's Caesars about pizza that makes it perfect is so fucking cheap home. and their pizza the is like really a plate. There's no cutlery needed and the compact good design of pizza reduces for the, price, the potential it's like, for mess. Domino's began to if take you want advantage cheap of this pizza, at a time when Pizza Hut didn't Little even Caesars. offer delivery. In fact, if you want to go extra with your pizza, Domino's. 27 years after launching their business, doing so because they saw how successful Domino's was. Actually, the like New York style pizza the best. You didn't need to go to a dine-in restaurant if you wanted New York to eat pizza. And if you did desperately want to eat Pizza Hut, you could literally just go to any or you can eat restaurant offering pizza Ugh. and eat your Oh yeah, Tony's pizza. Other food options. Pizza was no longer an exclusive thing in the same way that it was in the early days of Pizza Hut. This lack of exclusivity in combination with delivery also shifted people's perceptions of how prestigious pizza was. As mentioned earlier, Pizza Hut adopted the dining model when pizza was an exclusive new dish from Italy. However, Domino's and delivery in general turned pizza into just another fast food. Pizza Hut became no fancy the McDonald's
McDonald's or KFC. So why would you take your family to eat there as a special occasion? Then there was Pizza Hut's increased pricing and decreased quality. Overnight, the price went up from $6.49 to $8.49. The high school students, previously a common sight, disappeared. With fewer people, the quality suffered. Pizza Hut was always more expensive than the alternatives, affordable only when getting second, third, fourth pizzas at a reduced price. But it got more expensive. The pizza remained very greasy and people started eating low carb. There are better alternatives, especially for Ow. that money. Pizza Hut CFO David Gibbs made the claim that having dine in restaurants is now a negative for the business, stating the challenge Pizza Hut faces is that it has a large dine in business. Dine in is waning in relevance. In other words, Pizza Hut needs to focus less on dine in and more on what people want, which is to take their pizza with them. This was also highlighted by Artie Stars, the president of Pizza Hut USA, who stated the biggest problem that Pizza Hut is facing is perception, explaining that many of its customers don't associate Pizza Hut with delivery. Stars said the facade of its locations reinforces this idea and it isn't helping to lure in diners. Yeah, it's very true. When I think of Pizza Hut, I think of the dine-in stuff we to used to do when I was younger. To its customers, Pizza Hut delivered pizza to Space, the Oscars, and the top of Mount Kilimanjaro, but it still seems as though they aren't competitive on delivery. And on the topic of Pizza Hut in comparison to its competition, we should also highlight that Pizza Hut is extremely uncompetitive from a health perspective. Their standard pepperoni pizza contains a whopping 8,153 kilojoules, equal to almost 2,000 calories, which is close to the entire recommended daily adult Damn. calorie intake, and has almost <laughs> twice as many calories as Domino's pepperoni pizza, which has 4,453 kilojoules, or a little How? over 1,000 calories. What but it's not fair to make this point what? unless we see the size and quality of each pizza. So we ordered a pepperoni from Domino's before doing the same with the nearby Pizza Hut in order to compare the two different pizzas. As mentioned, the Domino's Merry pepperoni Christmas. came in at 1,064 calories, while the Pizza Hut pepperoni came in at 1,948 calories. And with the Pizza Hut pepperoni costing double the price of the Domino's wow. pepperoni, you might expect that the Pizza Hut pizza would be double the size. However, as you can tell from the opening, this isn't the case whatsoever. The Domino's wow. pizza had a surface area of 510 square centimeters. Wow, they're the really Hut going in on this math, ain't they? Only 12% larger at 572 square centimeters. Additionally, the Pizza Hut pepperoni weighed in at 1.46 pounds, making it only 7% heavier than the Domino's pizza at 1.36 pounds. Now, to Pizza Hut's credit, their pizza definitely presented and subjectively even tasted better than Domino's. However, with the Pizza Hut pepperoni being double the price and double the calories with no real distinct advantage, it becomes obvious as to why Pizza, pizza really Hut small. has become I think they're like mediums or something. When looking at Pizza Hut's menu, you'll also notice that the days of Pizza Hut trying wacky if that's a large, that's, designs are that's certainly long not right. gone. <laughs> the only crazy product that's that like they a have snack on their website pizza. is a range of pizzas which use a chicken schnitzel as the base, but apart from that, almost everything else on the menu feels like something you could get from Domino's at a cheaper price. Nowadays, there's so many restaurants, not just dedicated pizzerias, that offer pizza on their menu that you can simply get better quality food at discounted low prices at other places. It's not even worth using Pizza Hut for pizza anymore. You'll get better results elsewhere. Now, to Pizza Hut's credit, they did try to overhaul the menu back in 2014 when they introduced their biggest brand evolution ever called Flavor of Now, which introduced countless different new fancier menu items and was described as the biggest change the Pizza Hut and the pizza category has ever seen. However, their new upscale approach had minimal impact on Pizza Hut's revenue, which actually <laughs> declined by 100 million in the same year that they implemented Flavor of Now, which becomes even worse if you consider that during the same time period, Domino's Damn. sales grew from 10 billion to 15 billion. It's a little bit of a difference and there. And <laughs> <look> <laughs> the data, we can see that the average sales per store has barely changed since 2006, which is about the point where the dine-in model died. While a consistent 12 billion per year over the last 10 years still seems like a pretty awesome scenario, the growth experienced by competing pizza brands has led Pizza Hut's market share to decrease from 25% in 1995 to 14.3% in 2016. 2016 also marked the year where Pizza Hut lost their 45 year long title of the world's largest pizza brand to Domino's. However, their stagnant revenue has caused significantly worse problems than simply losing some arbitrary title. For example, in August 2000, 2019, Pizza Hut announced that they plan on shutting down over 500 underperforming stores in the US. Damn. And exactly one year after that, in August 2020, Pizza Hut's largest franchisor, MPC, announced yes, that they're that's why I haven't really seen Pizza Hut's all over the place. Debt, forcing this. them to close 300 of their Pizza Hut franchises and put their remaining 927 stores up for sale, representing one fifth of every Pizza Hut restaurant in America. One month after this, Pizza Hut announced that they'd be closing more than 10% of
of its stores in the UK, with this taking place in the very same year that Domino's and Papa John's had net gains of 17.6% and 15.9%. Yeah, they were just losing in this the process, race, weren't Pizza they? Hut was undergoing a logo change, although not to something fresh representing a bright future, but rather to the same logo used during the Pizza Hut glory days of 1974 to 1999. Pizza Hut's chief brand officer, Marianne Radley, stated embracing our iconic Pizza Hut logo is recognition of a time period where Pizza Hut unequivocally reigns supreme because that's where the future is headed. Yeah, However, the future at the same time, no, it feels it's as not headed that way. To remind the world that Pizza Hut still exists, and this doesn't sound like the kind of play made by a company who's going to be reigning supreme anytime in the near future. <laughs> oh damn, Pizza Hut, damn. Same logo you look at those logos from look at that. Look at those logos up top. <laughs> yeah, Pizza Hut oh I I haven't even realized how downhill they've gone because I just haven't I never really thought about it, but yeah, Pizza Hut in my mind was always dine in. But then when delivery and stuff became a thing it was it was more dominoes and if we wanted the cheap stuff but good it was little caesars <laughs> phoenix <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I just didn't realize how far gone Pizza Hut has become. Like, I just didn't realize. And that's, it's kind of sad, but also not surprising. Because if you're not quick to, to stay relevant in an ever changing economy and society in general, like, if you're not able to keep up, you're going to go downhill. I think Pizza Hut, their main problem was that they, they tried to stay fancy for too long. They tried to stay strictly <clears throat> dine-in too long. And it, it was just downhill from there.